ever had. A ball slim shit. Back that man's really too Nick and had I got, no. I gotta see this shit. It was For crazy, real. bro. Yeah. We're gonna get into that in a second. All I gotta say is, um, th- this tweet. Basically, someone said, "What artist you know that drops an album without saying a word about it? No promotion, and it's number one trending topic in less than thirty minutes." Yeah, that Kendrick did Lamar. You yeah, can't, Eminem. you can't hate on that. Did yeah, that happen? That's, that's Kendrick Lamar dropped "Damn" without saying shit. No, 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 no. Nah. M was the number one. M was the number one trending topic after not saying shit. Right? He dropped the album within thirty minutes. Number one trending also, topic. But he's Nobody's Eminem, done that. No. Nobody's he's done that. Eminem. Yeah, that's on. That's if, exactly he that's tried to, if he would have tried to power drop power the Marshall Mathers LP like that, this was a, it wouldn't happen. No, absolutely not. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely not. That's my whole point. That's what I'm saying. He's units? Eminem yeah. for a reason. How many units equals number one though? Yeah, how many, I don't how know. I don't know. Look, all I know is right now, Cardi B went gold in a day. All I look, all I know is my nigga. But right now, no Eminem, he his shit is went, number one already. everywhere right now. Yeah. Jay Z went gold in a day. Jay Z went platinum in a day because of that Samsung shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah See, that but cheap. that's that's, that's cheat. No, that's that's cheat code. That's not that's cheat. That's cheat that's code, code nigga. Shit, that's that's that cheat code, nigga. Like, that's yo, like that's like that's like uh. That's I don't even know, yeah, bro. That's, that's I don't know. I feel like that's a cheat code. I ain't hating on that at all for having the cheat code, nigga. That's lit. Corporation by a million copies before the shit even dropped. That's crazy that's kind of cheap yeah it was your samsung it was like, not or sprint one of them what did you got it was it was it was samsung you don't like samsung mad niggas got that free. but yeah. this <laughs> you, yeah like you get that shit for free like you feel me that was a dope ass album too but it counted as sales like that shit's crazy like that was a dope ass album though i fucked with that album What's that? Yeah. What, what, what album are we talking Carter. about? They pulled a YouTube. That was a dope album. Remember, yeah, yo, remember that shit? That. Remember how you go into your, your Apple Music and the YouTube album would be already there and shit? That shit's... <laughs> <laughs> yo, is YouTube music the What? No, In SoundCloud the music is the wave right now, bro. What are you talking about? SoundCloud finally got charts Are you talking about YouTube? Now. Oh, no, SoundCloud got no. charts. Yeah, no, I ain't know that. No, the new when bad. X when before X died when he released that Christmas EP, that shit was number one no, on no, the charts. No, I'm not talking about charts. I'm talking about the he new said bad. the YouTube. Oh, what? YouTube music. You oh, no, that's not yeah, the yeah, yeah. Like YouTube music. No, I'm Leor Cohen's music. ahead of YouTube music. Yo, no, did y'all that hear man, about that man? That man might be doing some who? shit. Leor Cohen. Who that? He's uh the. Founder of 300, he was like le- 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 a G, a G ass nigga. Been, yeah, he he a G ass nigga. You yeah. never heard of Leo Cohen? Leo Cohen. Hell no. Mhm. Oh shit. No, Where? I never knew who this man was. He a scary motherfucker, yo. Bro, that nigga had me cracking the fuck up. Yo. Oh my god. Oh, when he said Rich was a clown. Yeah, he was like, he gonna see. I was like, what? As well, he was like dead ass. That's crazy. Yo, they close up to his face and Hey yo, so in conclusion, this M album, um, this is the M that we've all been waiting for for a long time. He came back with a real dope album. Um, <laughs> this shit is fucking it. crazy. I, like I don't it. give a fuck well, to be honest. I, with you. I like well, it. I don't I give a fuck because this shit's crazy. It was I. It was yeah. It was it was a lot of like modern sounding to beats with modern to. sounding flows. Yeah, lyricism. Because nice. the way I nice. the way I right. looked at that shit. Go hooks. listen to the whole album first before yeah, you come yeah, up here and speak about it. You have to. You have to. A little corny, but his other than that, it was like M's hook game wasn't wasn't too tight on some of the shit that I heard. I mean, he in general. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Damn. I, was like, I fucks with it, shoot. He's got some shit. Every time the verse comes he's got some nice. shit. But um, yeah. I just think I need to listen yeah, to him more. Definitely. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. Uh, listen, I'll value your opinion when you listen to the whole thing. You know what I mean? I don't know, Otherwise, man. it's whatever. Ooh. But no, um, we only uh, listen to four songs, bro. Yeah, I know. That's true. How many he's got 13 wrong? tracks. 13. Go listen to him. Oh, all right. All right, bet. Was there's that from, um, like, top to bottom we were listening? Nah, I don't know, bro. I'll keep I would, it say, there, I would say there's, like, 9 yeah, to Joyner 10 tough feature, joints on there. There's probably 3. Like, Joiner's feature was crazy. Joiner's yeah, feature was yeah, crazy. Yeah, I fucked with it. Yeah, Joiner's, 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 Joiner's something else, I'm better bro. than that. He's, he's definitely next <laughs> up. Um, Bar all right, so what I want to get into, though, it's 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 deeper than this. All right, um, cool. I'm going to move on. Shout out to him for putting out the album. Go check it out, Kamikaze. Shit's dope. 
But um, it was like, yo, you gonna have to be quiet. When this right? man like, said, yo. "Why is every white rapper saying Emma's the goat?" My response to that was, "I don't know. Ask them. I'm not every white rapper. I'm shoe." And maybe when I was 10, I could relate to his situation in a way, um, you know, and felt that he spoke to me more than my own parents did. Also, he is that good. And anybody that doesn't recognize that is just a hater. Oh, and by the way, all my black rapper friends say he is, too. So name someone who could technically out rap him. Exactly. Because I have maybe not every single one of them, but I have a lot of black rapper friends that say M is the GOAT. All right, so you know me, what I mean? Let me, ask, let me ask the niggas in this room a question. I feel like it's one more person. Let me let me ask all the niggas in this room a question. If Eminem went on a song and said, nigga, how many of us would be offended right now? I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't give a fuck, right? You wouldn't give a fuck? I wouldn't care. If how many white artists nigga? have that power? No. A lot it's of funny them. that you said that because Snoop Dogg... I wouldn't care if Mac Miller Snoop said Snoop Dogg said... If he, he traded said, nigga, bro. That'd be hard. If if Max said, said nigga, oh my god. <laughs> if Max Miller said nigga, what? That shit, if GEZ say nigga bro, or if Russ say nigga, we gotta thing. fight. Yo, we yo. gotta fight, bitch. Okay, yeah. 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 Like yo, and you know, yo, you know. Who but if but if yo. M says it, he's getting a piss. Hell yeah. yeah. You know what's yo. funny? You know what's funny like about Action that? Action Bronson saying nigga. Action Bronson. Yeah, Action Bronson. Well, nigga. Yeah, he actually he has used to say nigga. No, he's out. Still, to this, day, that, that to this day, we could go on yeah, SoundCloud yeah. and find the song Crazy. of him saying "nigga, bro." And yeah. then, and then just, no, no, and it's bro, not just one. It's not just listening one. To action, There's no way he's alive. Because he sound like no, Ghostface bro, Killer, though. Too nice, bro. It's he's just because like it's nice, bro. Yeah, it's like too nice, bro. And then he just niggas. I guarantee you. Like what? Me and my niggas sitting in the back. Like I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Eminem says "nigga." It's funny because when you say that, it reminds me that Snoop Dogg actually said. We actually traded somebody on our side. We traded a black man for Eminem. Eminem is now black. I'll trade. That's Brian what he Dumbled said. For Eminem. He said Eminem's black. He <laughs> said it in an interview. That's I'll trade right. Forrest Whitaker for Eminem, dog. For real. <laughs> Forrest Whitaker's that nigga. Forrest Whitaker. What? Forrest, Forrest Whitaker is really that nigga. Nah, you dude, know right? who I trade for Eminem? Forrest. No, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. I don't want that nigga. <laughs> Even he I that don't nigga. want that nigga. <laughs> bro, you don't see radio, my nigga? Nah, hey, radio was, that's the Yo, only he movie a I good, He's a damn good actor. Oh, bro. my Come on now. God. Yes, he bro, is. Radio I, give him credit, bro. I give him credit for radio, Snow Dogs, and the yep, one joint that he dogs. got with Robert So he didn't do good in Boys in the Hood? He didn't do good in Boys in the Hood. No, he did it. Beyonce. He did the movie with Beyonce. He did Shadow Boxing. What? He did a movie with Beyonce. He did a movie with Beyonce. Wasn't he in Predator? Yeah. Yeah. He did that Yo, too. Nigga, bad. what else he did? This nigga. nigga, he played OJ, nigga. Nigga, he played OJ, my nigga. He played, uh, played the juice, juice crazy nigga. Endo wants to change the name of the movie to Garbage. a couple good men. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get back to wait, the topic. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, what just happened? Wait, 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 wait oh, nah, fuck that, fuck that. Let's get back yeah, to the topic. Yeah, let's get yeah, back yeah, to the topic because yeah, yeah, yeah. our our fans are waiting to hear. What we're gonna say sorry. So, um. So I basically said, I don't know, ask them, blah, blah, blah. And he said, just because he spoke to you doesn't make him the GOAT, sir. Do you not know the meaning of GOAT? If you, if I have to give you a list of rappers that are better than M, then you don't even know hip-hop. I don't think he gave Now that a set list. me the fuck off because I know so he much hip-hop. Yeah, nah, yeah. He said, say the bull, nah, nah, you can't. he said, say the bull is your favorite. Stop disrespecting our culture with the bullshit. We saw what happened with Elvis and rock and roll. We're not going to let that shit happen with this hip-hop, Mr. Shook. This is where it gets, like, kind of racist. All right? Uh, yo. Well, nah, that's now. Right. Whoa. Now. Right? Damn. Yeah, that's, now. that's facts. Yo, Elvis yeah, that's really wrong. did steal rock and roll. Yo. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. But Eminem didn't steal hip hop. Yeah, nah, but, nah, that's but in the way. That's completely different. Nah, but but Eminem really grew up hip hop just as I that, did. That's a Hold fact. Up, right if you there. really like, think <laughs> about it, bro, like the publications and the shit like that is pretty much all run by white people. And if white people continue to push the narrative that this man is the king, like they did with Elvis, they just going, it's going to overshadow the actual. Not, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't who was behind it. It was your fan base. Black people yeah, love Eminem. Him. How many black it's people love true. Elvis? Yeah, it's correct. I, I, I don't give a fuck about a hound. I, yeah, I, but nah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But he's still... <laughs> yeah, word. You feel me? We always uh, remember that Elvis yeah. was white. So, yeah, yeah nice. really. So here, so guy. here's Shu's response to this man. I'm not gonna say his name because he doesn't deserve the clout. You but I said greatest of all time Good means point, though, greatest of all time. 
which means he is the greatest. He is greater than any rapper in the game to ever do it, in my opinion, that I'm entitled to. That is the GOAT. Not only did you just display your hate and racism in this last comment, but you are inc incredibly ignorant because I'm out here trying to help your culture. I grew up on hip-hop, and I can guarantee I can school you to way more about your so-called culture, even though it's mine as well, than you can even think of. SHU stands for stop hating on everything, so learn it, live it, and understand you are breeding hate into a world that has enough. Mm. Be a part of the solution, not wow. a problem. I also have a radio show that is supporting people who need help in your so-called culture. <laughs> so, who the fuck's culture is it now? Because I'm out here riding for mine. My culture is hip-hop. The culture that raised me. Your culture is hate. Next time you want to come at somebody, make sure it's not someone that knows their shit. By the way, you still haven't listed any rappers who could outrap him. By, by the way, all your favorite rappers think he is the GOAT. To Tom which makes it. you a hater. I'll give you a list of rappers who are better than any rapper you'll name, and he is the GOAT. Nas, Jay-Z, Elzai, Rooster59, Black Thought, J. Cole, Kendrick, Logic, Joyner Lucas, Andre3000, Kanye West, Joel Ortiz, King Crooked, Joe Budden, should I go on? And better than all them niggas. Stop because Joe Button's dope. <laughs> but we're not going to talk Button. about. We're not going to talk about that. So what do you guys have to say about what I said to him? I think we're going bar for bar right now. I'm going to keep reading I, the comments. We're, we're talking about technique, right? We're talking about everything that M's done. Technically rapper, right? rapping technically in every sound. aspect of rap. I feel like he's the most technically. In sound. every aspect of rap, Eminem bars out all of these niggas from storytelling to shock value to technique. Wait a minute, actually. I mean, one of my one of my favorite rappers. Is the only thing that I I ever thought. His content. Bro. Uh, uh, his content bruh. pisses me off. Yeah. The only weak part about him is his content because he is repetitive. Nas, when it comes to storytelling, has never had a repetitive story. Oh, nah, story. yeah. You could, J. Cole has never had a repetitive story. I don't story. know why niggas ain't brought this dude up, bro. Because he said he because was number one. Because he's mentally one. ill, bro. Then he said, oh, sorry, he lied. He's number one, two, three, four, and five, my nigga. Y'all ain't say KRS1 yeah, K K like, this nigga don't, like this yeah. nigga don't have bars for Eminem right now. On oh, God, I know he does. KRS One is, and I never even met the nigga. KRS One is got, crazy, bro. And I got know he got bars. But, but then, but then, but then, what, what he said, KRS is one of my favorite artists, right? I don't talk about him on the uh, show as much as I because none of these man, kids know who the fuck KRS is. Bro, but, bro. but KRS, KRS said Eminem's the best rapper. Damn. And I'll I prove it. You. In the video, Damn. he said it. That's what I'm you, saying, bro. Know, Every bro. artist that you can we say. What we say of our time. Right. Of our time. Right. KRS says. Bring Rock Kim in his is. prime and bring an Eminem. Rock Kim said. No, we got to say of our time because shit changes. Like, yeah. you can't compare a lot of these rappers to. Uh, no. The, uh, Big no. Daddy Kane or something. Don't get me started with. with Especially Big Daddy Kane. Cool G Rap, yeah, Big can't. Daddy Kane. You can't. Listen, thank you. you my, Big Daddy when I, Kane got verses, listen, my nigga. Do you want to know my top five when I started rapping? Hmm. Big Daddy Kane. KRS1. Fire. Cool G Rap. Fire. Um, Let me stop guessing. I don't even. I've never listened to Cool G Rap. Yeah. Like, these are the guys <laughs> I used to put yeah, in my top. Yeah. Night. Yeah. <laughs> um. Fuck with Cool in the Gang. Probably Nas and M. They lost soul Nas up there, too. Listen to by who? On the run by, by Cool G Rap. Cool, DJ Polo and Cool G Rap. What about Farside, nigga? Farside has some oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah. Let me but, um, Lab Cabin California is amazing. All right, so he, he said, his response to what I said was, you definitely can't school me on hip-hop. Yes, it's my culture. I'm not racist. I don't trust your peoples. Oh, man. This is where it got now, intense. let me pause you right there. Let me pause you right there. If a white person would have said that to me, it's on. they would be a racist, it's would they not? Popping. Thank you. Let... That's racist as fuck. If a white person came up to you and said they don't trust your people, how would you feel? Oh, that sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah, I feel some type of way. You feel like they were a racist, right? <clears throat> yeah. So why? Is if you didn't know me, if you didn't know me, and I came up to you on the street and I'm like, I don't trust your people. That's racist as fuck. Exactly. You're gonna you're gonna feel so heated gonna, about that. Are we gonna? I feel you. I feel like that's an opinion he should have kept to himself because I don't trust white people either. <laughs> 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 no, nah, wait. Yeah, I was about to say like, is some is some like racism justified in terms of like. You know, being like oppressed for so long that you don't really. Look, no, Trump I'm gonna say not. I'm gonna put it to you it's like not. this. It's I'm not put it because to you like it's this. not because you're it's not racism you're, is you're racism, part of bro. the problem still. When you do that, you're not part of the solution. Let me let me All let right. me to I, fix this I, bullshit that's going on because I have nothing to do with what some of my so-called ancestors or or just just 
people that that what are you did, Italian and German? Do they I'm even, Italian and they, German. Do they even have anything to do with the slave trade? Probably nah, not. Italians just racist. You know what I mean? Really they don't. Uh, but Italians don't you like anyone who's not fucking, Italian. You fucking movie. Italians like, all dirty that, for their like, culture. Yeah, Italians but, don't anyone. Yo, don't don't like anyone you, who's Italians not Italian. Italians are black people. I promise you to my, the T. Sicilians, you my can't nigga. Get, you can't like you can't get no blacker than that. You feel me? That's real they shit. Got they got bodies act like black. Like, they act like niggas, bro. Like that Jim Tan laundry shit. Hands, that's some nigga that shit. shit. That, like yeah, that's some nigga shit. That's <laughs> niggas getting fly. Jim Tan laundry. That's niggas getting fly, my nigga. Yeah, you feel me? Like that's G. Sh- that's G. That's, shit, bro. That, to us, and that it, shape up. If you they're have, not. Bro. Listen, listen. But they're not all Italian. Oh yeah, I know. I know. I know, but but that culture, is, yeah, that's, no, it yeah. is crazy because like if you tell Italian people that shit, they get yo, they get mad. It's the same thing how <laughs> Dominicans feel about it. Yo, when you tell Dominicans they're black, they get pissed. <laughs> Facts. And this, actually, I'm oh, so glad that we brought this up easily? because, oh, yeah, bro, yeah, you're yeah, you, yeah. you're a part Italian, right? Yeah. Let's let's bring it to history. The Mongolians invaded places like Sicily and Italy and completely raped the women. Mongolians were from Africa. And you could, bro, if given that fact, bro, you could have some black in you. So, how racist are you? Like, how, like, what, you feel me? Like, the shit, the shit is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the shit is deeper than rap at this point It's because deeper than rap Once he started touching on that shit Saying your peoples and all that shit yeah, That shit got me heated It's, not cool. it's beyond it rap It went way. beyond the post The post was simply LeBron I said As a black man LeBron LeBron James One of the most successful basketball players of all time Not our time Facts. All time Facts that Was reciting mean. Eminem's lyrics And I posted Amazing. it yeah. Because it was dope And this man brought it deeper than rap when took I, it and when somewhere I he shouldn't have it, when I commented on it, I said Nas, people like Nas, Black Thought have given him his credit as the black, the best rapper to ever live. Not because he was white, be- but because he has worked for his shit. White America made Slim Shady the reason why him being white was popular. Not black people that or is, not culture of hip hop. Yeah, that's really is they like the certain album. fans, like those right. certain exactly. fans <laughs> that are like toxic a little bit. You know? yeah. Exactly, like, like 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 the ones I was saying earlier that. Oh hell yeah! Yes. Had the classic. He made classic, a fucking uh, movie battle, out of it. Battle. Did Eminem not grow up around just white life, people? Though. I mean, just but black that was his life, though. That's Detroit. what happened in his life. Yeah. Eight right. Mile is literally. He his always life. had his back up like against the, the wall. Dude with the dreads was proof. Fact. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like you yeah. can't, you can't say, you can't sit here and say that Eminem is not for the culture, and then. And then try and attack somebody like Nick, who knows nothing but black artists as rap artists. You Word, feel me? yeah, that he that was the right. wrong person to come at. Yeah, like, you feel that me? Was the wrong person. It'd be different. Like, it'd be different if my nigga posted selfies in a Confederate fucking flag. And <laughs> yeah, shit and like, then you then see what I'm saying? And, say, and posted up in a pickup truck in front of Wawa and shit. Like, right? He was just. I think he he might have been racist, and he was just mad that fucking that 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 LeBron. It was exactly. race. It was yeah, race driven. And mind you, there's there's only two white worse. people in this room right now. But it just got worse. But it was race driven. Right, and then, so I responded with, "You don't even deserve a response, <laughs> you racist." But I'll say this. I'll say this. Racism isn't born; it's taught. Well, definitely. definitely. I'm gonna stop right there. Definitely. I'm gonna stop right there. Okay. Racism is taught, and this is the problem I have. If we're not out here correcting this issue, and you guys, you guys may not be as passionate about this shit as me, but my whole movement, my whole reason for getting in this, my whole reason for wanting to rap, my whole reason for wanting to get my message out to the world is to stop the hate and the, 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 the fucking divide that we have, Fact. right? And I, I can understand, like, Hendo and I had a very beautiful conversation on the phone the other day. And we were talking about just black culture, white culture, uh, slavery, racism, everything. We got real deep with it. And my side is like, you guys have heard this before, I'm sure, from some white people. Like, I had nothing to do with it. But it's deeper than that. It's like, why are we going to continue to, like, what he's doing? is manifesting the hate back into the world like when it when it and technically i was a part of that like i kept going with him feeding round for round and i was feeding into it and that's just manifesting but i'm out here trying to really like just educate people because like i was about to say if you can make a change for the positive i'm trying to really like i can't do it by myself and i don't know how many people out there are passionate about this you know what i mean but when you grow up and you're taught to hate that's wrong, you and you're just gonna continue. You gotta break the cycle. To, like, 
be a positive. You person. know what I mean? Like, like I, I think we had the conver- when I when we had the conversation the other day. If a Mexican man was getting beat up by the police, I would feel just as racially offended if it was a black man, right? Because it's not fair. If it's I not saw what, which fair is fair and exactly. what's not. Yeah. If I saw a white man getting ki- getting beat up by a bunch of racist black police officers, I would feel for that white man <laughs> because, because it's I not know fair. What it's like exactly, racism is racism, right. bro. You don't just and, ride for one skin color. And you, and the I'm, fuck. I'm going to play devil's advocate with you because hip hop did start as black culture. It did. And and if you look at all the black gatekeepers, they've done a song with a white person. Run DMC did a song with Aerosmith. You Facts. feel me? What like like how if 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 this man is claiming to know people who are better than Eminem and know other and and know about other legendary black rappers, know their history because rap and punk, something that is stereotypically a white scene, punk and 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 hair metal and shit like that, was technically invented by black people, but cultivated by whites. But people like Aerosmith and people like Run DMC made songs together. Eminem has incorporated rock music with black music. You feel right. me? Kendrick Lamar has incorporated rock music with black mu- black music. Kendrick Lamar, is someone who 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 advocates black nationalism, and he's from Compton, and he's from Compton, has done songs with white people. No, too many white people that live in Compton. Exactly. You know what I mean? You feel me? I know white boys. M- me and Grizz had this conversation <laughs> a few months so ago. So for Kendrick to grow up, j- that's a perfect example. For, for Kendrick to grow up. He a would he would have to be a product of his exactly. environment, right? An and, and gr- environment where you're not even supposed to trust white people. And then go and work with Rick Rubin, who's white. He produced a Slipknot album, bro. Right? That's what I'm saying. That so Kendrick, Kendrick Kendrick is with it. Kendrick is for my message. He's exactly. really trying to break the divide, and he's trying to break the cycle. But and that's why a I respect rapper than him. Eminem? No. Kendrick? Well, I think Kendrick knows that. I Kendrick even Kendrick. said it. Kendrick Nobody can said, ever replace what no Eminem. No one can take away from what Eminem has done as a wordsmith. Exactly. Facts. I feel like I but feel like, like you know what? I'll this, listen to Kendrick before I listen to him. You know what's Damn crazy? Damn straight. This actually reminds me. Wait, what did you say? I'll listen to Kendrick before I listen. Yo, to Yo, that's what it's I'm more. Saying. It's this, more this time. Yeah, this is, I'll give it yo, up. Yo, this is exactly. No, yeah. Yo, exactly. that's what I'm saying. This is exactly what like, I was saying speaking, earlier no. with the Prince and Michael Jackson shit. Is like, even though, like, if Prince was the Eminem in this situation, or Eminem was the Prince in this situation, like, even though everybody knows he's more, be- like, technically talented, Kendrick sonically has, has yeah. more enjoyable music, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, well, we're also having cool. this conversation I mean, in 2018. Yeah, Eminem's yeah, yeah, first sure. Eminem's debut for album sure. dropped in Kendrick ain't have me in 1996. Or no, Kendrick ain't have me in fifth grade listening to "Bitch, I'ma Kill You." Like, yeah, <laughs> you feel yeah. me? Like, right. facts. <laughs> yeah, his, facts. facts. The content, Eminem man. is the reason. <laughs> I feel like Eminem's the reason why kids can't go on YouTube in elementary school and high schools and shit like that. Like, because, <laughs> j- bro, I promise you, <laughs> up until I was bumping He's Eminem. For a lot bro, of shit. <laughs> up until I was bumping oh, Eminem in the classroom. <laughs> you feel me? Facts. Nigga, shit was real. They ain't know about YouTube until, you feel me, Grizz was bumping that Eminem. That nigga said I'm kidding, <laughs> so when I dish you wouldn't want to answer this. If you responded back with a battle rap, rap you, you wrote for cannabis. cannabis. I'll strangle you to death and I'll choke you again. Then break your fucking legs till your bones, bones poke, poke through your, your skin. skin. You beef with me, I'm, I'm an even, even a score equally. equally. Take you on Jerry, Jerry Springer, Springer and beat, beat your, your ass, ass legally. legally yeah. Crazy, you feel me? Like crazy. There's niggas who are out right now who haven't even come to that lyrical like ability. Oh, yeah. Fact. You feel me? Yeah. It's Emin- 2018. I, it's not and, as and important. This is this is one of the biggest debates in my own personal life. Lil Wayne over Eminem. I would personally rather listen to Lil Wayne, but we can't sit here and sit and act like Lil Wayne isn't a fucking lyricist and has just as many. He, 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 as him. So he really for a does. while, I didn't want to admit it, but Lil Wheezy is a lyricist, right? Wheezy but is the Southern Eminem, bro. But if we're talking game. impact on the culture. Who's doing more for the culture of hip hop that we all know and love like that it hip-hop? started out? As far as like Puritan cultural, pure hip hop, pure you know, like political pioneer hip hop. Yes, Eminem is doing more for Lil it. Lil Wayne don't even do shit for black people. Because the thing is, Lil Wayne, if anything, Lil Wayne's responsible for the mumble shit. Yeah, that we Lil all Wayne say is technically destroying niggas. it, That's right? That. What do you mean? And Lil I'm not Lil out here Wayne hating on mumble shit. Responsible for the mumble. Well, Lil Wayne, Lil he Wayne, is, bro. he inspired uh, the shit. Yes, he did. Lil Wayne, Wayne was you, it? You're bro, crazy. You can't say that. You're cra- bro. Everybody yes, says bro, that. You, have great. you ever listened to OJ the Juice Man? He was the only dude with face tattoos. Have you ever listened? 
You know let, what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me tell there's you. There's a lot of things. Three but, six but mafia. They were there's nowhere a lot of things that, that kind of shit that I'm easy not could touch. Agree with you, but aesthetically speaking, no, they had something to do with it. He's not yeah, wrong, of course. But, but Weezy is the main reason. Him and Young, it's the Thug main ingredient. Future, yeah. It's the main ingredient. Aesthetically speaking, how many niggas? How many niggas before Wayne was coming out with tattoos all over their face, talking about I'm fucking your bitch in every song, and it's and 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 doing drugs and actually doing it, talking about I feel like dying in what year? Before there was mumble rap, there was. I feel like Lil Wayne rapping drugged out, talking uh, talking about crazy yeah. slurzy. Uh, the first uh, mumble uh, rap song might have been "I Feel Like Dying." Thank you. Come on. And now right. all of these niggas are on some emo boy shit, getting right. face tattoos Bro. and sipping lean. Nah, that it, the mumble rap shit. Was but if you Lil listen, Wayne, yo, these music, these dudes were young motherfuckers when he was making "I Feel Like Dying." They were sitting in the room like, "I gotta get face tats. I gotta do this. I, I gotta rap like that." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that that don't even like with the mumble rap. Like I said, that came from, if you notice when Lil Wayne really got in his bag, you know, um, you know, we had a few conversations Please about don't bring that. up Gilly. No, no, no. No, I'm not saying. I mean, if you want to, I mean, like. No, 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 no. You know. Because we, we got a lot of, lot no. to go over to wrap this topic up. No, but the thing about it is with, with Lil Wayne, when he got in his bag, he wasn't a mumble rapper. He, he wasn't. He wasn't. A, he, wasn't right. a mumble, he became a mumble rapper. Look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can give Wayne. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say hold something. On. I don't know. I, I mean, there might have been one before that, but I'm I feel like dying him. was probably in like 07. No, nah, listen. No, nah, but this is this is. Hold on, hit me out real quick. He was Jug. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. When 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 man Waka, OJ the Juice Man. Yeah, I, nah, that's mumble rap. That's all the shit that I nah, hated the back the then. The when it came out. I'll the, take that over this music today. Any, any time. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. The thing about when it, when you looking at when we was talking about before when we was talking about the Tupac shit and the Biggie and all right. that, we was talking about impact. You know what I'm saying? Like you was listening to Gucci and all them, but they didn't have impact. You know what I'm saying? He had it. So when it came to Lil Wayne, like I said, he was in his bag for a minute and then he got cocky. When he when he got cocky and started making anything and coming in and that's from, why I stopped listening coming in from the club high and just making music and just saying anything singing and all types of shit you know what I'm saying like they created a lane to where as though everybody that really couldn't rap fact. he was doing it coming fact. in doing anything fucking facts no nah, he made it no nah, everybody that nah, he couldn't he made it, he made it. Bro, Lil, Wayne, bro. Lil, Lil Wayne made it cool to do it sound the fucking like, alarms bro. Bro, Lil Wayne, I feel point. like now nah, Lil Wayne made it cool to go in the studio and think you can freestyle. And that's I'm what he did. Right. That's literally uh, he that's made it cool to go in and have fun and not actually try have, to rap. Yeah, you have to when everybody was trying that. hard. Right. He went in there and just did his thing, and I respect it. But would it would it let into? It's like, eh. bro, you can he is yeah, but that's you not. Got, yeah, what you said is not even. Like when it comes to like he didn't have to, that was the thing. He knew he didn't have to, and that's why he was doing it. But right. all these other rappers actually have to. It was just all it was was no, laziness. No, 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 no. Rappers really put effort into. The they put effort yeah. into. It. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. 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 So, so North just said one of the best points this whole episode. What I'm saying is, like, Weezy wasn't actually trying, right? And he created that lane, and then yeah, these guys are now going in there trying to, trying to actually to do that. What he, what he but did. I, I right? will, I will. Because he was still, and the thing about it is, it was still momentum. It's just like if you driving and you pressing the gas and you going 100 miles an hour, when you let off the gas, you still hold. And that's what happens when, you, know what when you try so to be when someone he let else. Off the gas, he was still. You know what I'm saying? He was still moving. So they are like. I can't be that Lil Wayne that was in his bag, but I can be this Lil Wayne, and I can make money, and I can be, and that's what's happening. They make yep. the money, they good. They saw a yes. lane. Some of these dudes actually cannot rap, so they took that lane, and some of these dudes said, right. you know what, it's pure laziness. I don't give a fuck, and I don't want to. Yeah. Some of them probably could if they tried, and they just don't want to. Trippy Red got bars for You real. know what I mean? I believe some of them really could. They just don't give a fuck. Trippy Red got and that's bars what I real. hate, because I'm for the culture, and I care, and they don't. Bars and that real. pisses me off. Wi-Fi got bars. Bars for real, but um, back to this topic. Like, yeah, back to the topic. So he basically um, he yeah, basically went on to say a bunch racist. of racist shit. Yeah, he really just attacked me with all yeah, kinds of white rapper yeah. this, white white this, you guys, and you know this and that. Okay, so can, and, I, um, can I play devil's advocate for a minute? Go now, for it. Now, this is why black people, to a general consensus, are so mad about. White people being in our culture. I want you to bring this up because when the blues and soul and gospel and all that shit came out, we weren't even allowed to patent shit. We weren't. 
it all got stolen because we felt like if we we felt like we'd rather have our lyrics be sung by somebody than not be heard at all. So we we let these white people come in and just take all our royalties, take our writing, take everything, even our swag and our aesthetic. You feel me? And when when you when you look at hip hop from that kind of perspective, and you look at people like Russ or G Easy or Mac Miller or Eminem or whatever, you feel like. You feel like black rappers don't stand a chance against these people because they're white and doing something because of that, and I and and I can understand how you might feel that. And way. we're so we're so territorial it. over our shit because we had to recreate our culture so many times, bro. That we don't necessarily even. And I said it to you the other day, bro. I'm I, trying to empathize. I'm trying to empathize. Like I'm trying to put myself in as your much shoes as, and as understand. Much as, as much as I love you as a person, bro, you can't. You can't because you don't have to wake up every day and feel like someone's going to kill you. you I can't, to, but I, I can enough to understand what you're saying. Yeah, of I course. can. I, I because can. I'm not going to sit here and deny that you haven't dealt with racism. You feel me? But we're I not going to we're not going to sit here and pretend it's like on the scale that me and Grizz or like North or even Sadman could like potentially, you know, deal with. Because right. I'm not. He's probably had somebody, and Sadman's Bengali. You feel me? He's probably had somebody try and call him an Indian or a terrorist or some shit like that. You feel right. me? And I've had people call me nigger straight to my face. But when it comes to like, that's why when it comes to hip hop and music and fashion and shit like that, even shit as simple as cornrows, we automatically get, we automatically feel some type of way. You feel me? Because what is that? So we, try to, we try to hold on to. Most people, we just try to hold on to the stuff that we think is ours. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And you feel like you we, we had so much yeah. stuff that got taken away. Right. So you feel as though like this is ours. Now let me let me you, give like you, you an can't have and you it. deserve that. My only thing is like it it that it's important to know your history, but that was taught right. That that seed was planted in you to to feel that way. You have to know that to protect that yourself. Planted by you white have, people though. You have to know that. No, I know where it was started. What I'm saying is you have to know that to protect yourself and your culture and your people. You have to, but that. Like, just knowing that, right, is just going to piss you off. Right or wrong? I feel you, bro, right? you got to realize, as a, as a black person in this country, me coming up, my nigga, I always felt like I never had a culture, really. Like, Didn't I, I say it yesterday? I see, English I see, isn't our yeah, native tongue. Like, I see, like, you know, Italians, they have a culture. Spanish people, they have a culture. You feel me? Mexican people. You know, like, even, even other black people, like... This is a great people, point. Basketball, right. selling drugs, selling drugs, music. But out of out of the things that I just named, basketball, music, you feel me? And it's pretty much sports and music is the only thing that's really good. Something and it, it's a place where you come to fit in and you feel exactly now. Now let me give you the flip side of that. The only reason we only have the only reason we have only those avenues is because white people put us in a place to only have those avenues. And you know what's fucked up? You know what's fucked up? Because of those people that did that, those white people that did that, do you know why I rap? Why? Because I don't have a culture to go to other than hip hop. Because Damn. I didn't grow up in an Italian family who's very cultured. Yeah. I grew up. I'm Italian, but I grew up in a German and an Irish family. But I like my mom was adopted, I, so I, like I feel the same. I can actually, and you may not understand this from my standpoint, but I feel exactly how he feels. Yeah. I felt like I had as a kid. Almost I had nowhere to go. And nowhere to go to, to, why, to relate why, to people because I felt so different because of the ADHD and shit. I felt like misunderstood, different, and I had to find a place to fit in. And hip hop was the place to come where you you couldn't be judged. It's an outcast it was, genre. It was a place where you can go and be artistic and different, and you get praised to be different. And I loved it, and I felt Word. like I was a part of it. What was you saying, North? Yeah, right. I, I like when you was talking about, yeah, I feel like when you was talking about like culture and all that, like this, it that it didn't start. To where as though um, it was recent, like that shit goes all the way back, like to slavery and all that. Because when you say I feel as though we don't have culture, because we was always no, we was always the ones that had to fend for what it is that we want or the, need, bro. The minute you we touch, like, the minute we touch land here four hundred years ago, our shit got stripped. Yeah, so it, it wasn't nothing that belonged to us. Like even when we had to eat and stuff like that. That's why black people, you know, and like. Especially like down south, they love like chitlins and. That's not really even our culture. No, no. What it was, 
they ate everything from the pig that was supposed to be good and then left mm-hmm. all the bullshit to the black people. Hold on. Let me give you let me give you a standpoint right here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. The Black Panthers put in jail, fled to Cuba, then turned into the Crips and the Bloods, and now all we have is tension. We talked about that the other day. But you know why it was like that? Like an actual, it probably had the potential to be an actual black party. Yeah, but the reason the reason it got completely decimated and destroyed is because of uh the of J Edgar Hoover, the FBI, and the president at the time. They did not want us to thrive, and this is what I'm telling you. The, the fact that we feel so powerful and strong and, and biased towards certain things and, and, and almost like uh, introverted towards people coming into our culture is because of all of these things happening. You have every right to you feel that me? way because I, I can understand. But at the end of the day, this is where I'm, this is where I'm gonna come to you. This is where I'm gonna come to your side. It's 2018. As black people, we have so many accessible avenues to find out information on what we have invented. Everything right. that any race in America uses, or even in France, Germany, like streetlights, traffic cones, shit like that, computers, is all invented by black people. Astrology, niggas, fucking what else? Makeup, niggas, music, niggas, poly, mo- polytheism, and monotheism. Niggas. 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 Yeah, you know what you know what's crazy because it like I said, you you got a lot Niggas. of people you got a lot of people that Niggas that hold on. You know, they, they hold on to shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so I'm done with you that, guys. That, that's what make it hard because they still people still trying to hold on. Mm-hmm. And you can't hold on. Because when you look it's it's like we're ba- like we talk about basketball and football and all that shit like that, you know. We get put in these positions but they wasn't our positions yeah. that wasn't something that we can do let me tell you, know you what i'm saying like even when you go back to like jackie robinson and and all that that wasn't our twist it was something we had to force our way into or somebody had to talk one black person into coming and doing this and it opened the door for other people but we didn't have doors and stuff open when it came to hip-hop and when it, when it came door. to rap somebody opened that door and it was a black thing but the thing about it is like now, you know, we got people that like even with Eminem, you know, when he came and proved himself, that he can. That. When he proved himself, it was like, all right, you you one of us. Yeah, they embraced it. Did the Beastie Boys not prove themselves? Yeah, they from the rip. That's what I'm saying. Then, Eminem's then, album I, was, I was the Beastie Boys uh, album cover. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Like when it came to when it came that was to his rap, album, the yep. Beastie Boys. Once, cover. They, once they proved themselves, then nobody cared. Mm-hmm. You know, people always, it's just like even with black people, every time we do something, they say, you know, oh, a black president, black lawyer, a black, they put black on everything that we do that's successful. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, when it comes to, when it came to Eminem, like the Beastie Boys and all that, once he proved himself, and that's why we was talking about with Eminem. Once he proved himself and he became the artist that he was and, and, and was respected by so many people in the culture they stop saying you know white rapper eminem they they, they say eminem we just say that he's a hot ass rapper that's just what it is but the thing about it is see where the problem comes in with people is they say you got this white boy in here so now okay now here you go that's where the problem comes in that and, and people feel some type of way about that because they do the same shit to us like oh here comes somebody else trying to you know what i mean it is what it is but that that's that's what it is. We they're not trying to accept it. But, but boy was boy was serious though. Yo, yo, man's yeah. man's was really crazy was on your comments. Though. Yeah, he but was serious. What I want to say is it's social media. People it's social media. Yeah. That's why I say people get on social media and get crazy. Bring people together and, and cut this shit out because like if I was around back in the slavery days, I would have been there were there were some good There were some white, white people, people yeah. Really, yeah. Like, Mm-hmm. You know, black slaves. That's why people that march with Dr. King. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's something I have an I issue with. I shouldn't have to feel. I shouldn't like two wrongs don't make it right. I shouldn't have to feel a certain way. You say you got a problem with it? Yeah. What? Of people with white skin did something like that. You exactly. I mean? That's not cool. The reason I. 
the reason I have an issue with white people coming to our protests and coming to our marches and stuff like that is because for the longest time, all of our movements and all of our progression has been completely decimated and destroyed by elite, powerful white men. And I'm, I have no issue. I have no wow. issue with sharing hip hop. I have no issue with sharing music because now we really have no choice. You feel me? And even back in Victorian times, French people had their own music. Italian people had their own music. Shit like that. You know. But at the same time, Did M make it that way, or was it like that before? Um, we're talking like hundreds and thousands of years ago. Everybody had their own kind of music. I'm saying with hip hop though. No, M didn't make it acceptable. The no, that's that, make that, it, that's it what I'm saying. It, it, when it when it when it came to when it came to Eminem, when it came to him, they accepted him, and that, it was the same thing with like he came for Vanilla Ice a pass too. No, we didn't give him no fucking pass. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fucking, we did not give Vanilla we, we'll Ice. We give Corn a pass before no. we give Vanilla Ice. If, a if we like a song, we like the song. We was rocking yeah. with the song, but we never gave <laughs> we we never gave him a pass. You know what I'm saying, like. But, nah, nah. but like I said, like when it came to remember, like when it came to like Hillary and Bill Clinton, it, it was like, I right, Bill, we fuck with Bill, but why? But Hillary, like, you know, you, why, you why just did we said, fuck with Bill Clinton because he was getting head in the Oval but Office, Bill Clinton, bro. But, but Bill Clinton in his term, shit. but Bill Clinton in his term, <laughs> Bill Clinton in his term got so many black men put in jail, bro. Yeah, but so that, many. No, nah, what it what it be? It's it's even. I you don't know, think he was racist though. So we had a black, no, but we had a black male so that got niggas put in jail because a lot of time when people think about something that they doing and they looking at, I think we should do this because this will help this. Now let's say like even with the with the black with the black male that we had with the you know we had the stop and frisk. Yeah. Before we didn't have stop and frisk. If you pull me over and you check my car, I'm beating my case. You know what I'm saying? Word. Like now, they don't need probable cause. They can just pull you over. You like what you pull me over for? Shut up, get out the car. I thought you know what I'm saying? Got rid of that. Thing. Nah, this is this is a law here. They can stop and frisk here. Like, oh shit, that's that's the law here. Yeah, they don't need probable cause, uh. and that was the one thing that used to help us. No, they say they need probable cause, but they say some bullshit. Nah, they like don't. We didn't call. Nah, they don't like marijuana. Nah. But now they don't need to do that. They don't need an excuse no more. Yeah, just get the fuck oh, out. Oh, so they yeah. just they just pull up. On yeah, the they're stopping the frisk law. Yeah, we have a stop. We can stop. They can stop. You can be walking down the street and they say, "Yo, stop." Wow. Before they couldn't do it, they used to have to give you a reason. Yeah, we seen a bulge. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, they had right. to have a reason. That's why now they it's so easy for them to get in situations with people and fuck people up because now people are looking like you're not supposed to do this to us, and they're trying to say I can. All right, well, that sounds like martial law to me. Yeah, yeah. but a black, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. A black man did that to us because he thought that that was going to help us. Huh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it, it didn't help. It made situations man, worse. But, well, this is my thing. Here, that's but, why everybody with tent get pulled the fuck over. This is my thing with the protesting. I want there to be a powerful black movement to where it's just black people. I'm not saying that white people aren't welcome. It's I'm not saying I'm saying that I'm saying that if you really do support us as a black movement, then go and get a thousand of your white friends and go make Black Lives Matter posters and do that because that will make an impact. And then the minute we see you as white people really doing that instead of coming trying to infiltrate our shit like you always do, I'm not I'm just talking like a general consensus. I, I know. You feel me like that will show us that, all right, now we feel a little bit more comfortable around you. Because now you're going out on your own will, getting your own people that are the, but, that but the same was, as you. But it was always white people that, that fuck with us. It was always people that felt like that's wrong. It was always white people. Like, even right now, like, how we say we give certain people a pass. Like, we got a white person that we knew grew up in our hood and, you know, he went through the same struggles we went through. We don't even look at him. As like he's not He can't say person. nigga He's one of us That's our nigga yeah, like, He say nigga and, and all of that Like we yeah. gonna get Cause he's in our struggle if You know what I'm saying If you an outside white nigga And you say nigga to my face We got we got. Yeah we but got that's what I'm saying That's the reason why You had the white people In the march and stuff like that Because you had people That really felt like Yo yeah, like that shit is wrong But the only voice That they have Is the same voice that we have They can't go to The white people And say this shit is wrong They gotta march with us I, I feel you on that You know what I'm saying That's where that came from Because that, that that's the only way they can support. And There's so much that has to be done. Yeah. We don't even understand. Like we would literally have to talk about this for four hours. I'm so pro Malcolm it's X so though, that, that I just want I just want there to be a place where 
black people can go not not necessarily segregate themselves from white people. I want there to be a place for. I know what where, you mean. You feel me? I where, know what you where mean. Where black people can go and and and, and you really, and you really, deserve that. And yeah, people, exactly. you know what I mean. I want there to be a place to where black people can go and really talk down and sit down and be like, now how can we all fix? How can we fix our people? How can we fix our infrastructure? Because a white man can't come into a black community Word. and let's fix talk our about let's talk about why let's talk about the real problems. And I don't give a fuck if we run past five o'clock. Let's talk about the real problems of why are there no black leaders out there making that happen? Because white people don't want it. Okay. They can only get to. It's like the president. It's, it's like even with Barack. Like he was the president of the United States, and he still kept running into brick walls. That nigga's a pussy. Right. You can only. No, you can only do what they no. let you do. No. For real. You know what I'm saying? You don't have your own money. You he does only The president do what doesn't mean you have you the power do. of the world. Trump has his own money, so he literally don't have to do nothing the motherfuckers say because he got his own bread. Because you, he's. There's people with more money than the president, and money. Deter- money determines money. everything. There was money determines be, it all. There was going to be Definitely. a central bank founded like for Africa, backed by their own natural resources, yep. and the man got assassinated. Yup, got like, killed. There's people out there saying? that are. That's not, not okay. Yeah, they don't letting, want it to happen. Not letting bro. shit happen. Like, That's not okay. I'm not okay with like, that. Yeah, it's it's, it's get deep. It gets wild. Let me hit that. What is Diddy trying to do? Don't even say that. Oh, okay. In general. Don't even. But I believe in law of attraction. Don't even Shut talk like that because I, I really like. Word, I'll stress Yo, out about that I shit really, too. Like, I, that's hope not, he, I hope he really gets the Carolina yeah, I Panthers. I think that's what I, he's trying to do, right? Yeah. Don't, Wait, what is he trying to do? Don't he's JC to got a the, team? By the Carolina Panthers. Oh, word. He, pff, that's a team? <laughs> Brooklyn? There Brooklyn are men? people in men? positions of power that are really out there plotting on other people. What? And not letting Ron people. Brown bought a school. You ain't know? Yo, yeah. How? What? That shit's fire, yeah. LeBron he, bought no, a school, bro. A Can we talk like, about the fact that, free like... Trans- free transportation for just everybody said, that go there. Yeah. Rappers yeah. make more than the president, right? And so rap if, is if a predominantly We're all looking at the president sport. to make all these changes... Rappers are in a position of power to be such... Uh, to have such an impact and this on... Is- the black culture. And this is and why the black Bull community. has no valid has no validity in what he said to you. Because if hip hop All the rappers that have all the money and you're not doing anything, fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> fuck you. If hip if hip hop if hip hop is a, if hip hop is a predominantly you be doing black something for your community. If hip hop is a predominantly black uh, culture and a lot of these niggas come from the slums, why the fuck I'm doing something for your community? I don't even want to bring other artists in that give me Bro, right. When Hurricane right. when Hurricane Katrina happened, the only reason Wayne donated twenty five thousand dollars is because he heard somebody that he fucked with got killed by Hurricane Katrina, like his if, family or if, his his one of his homeboys. And because when Wayne first initially heard about it, he was like, "Oh, you like one of his people said that you lost like a three hundred thousand dollar car, you lost a house," and he was like, "I got three hundred thousand dollar change." Yeah, I, I was about to about say. Then when twenty five k ain't nothing. Then when and his man's when, died, then when his man's died, he donated twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, and this was shout out Car- to people this that was after Carter two came out. He shout got out to his fifty million dollar advance. All the rappers that well, are donating to like Flint, Michigan, like Pusha T, Eminem. He don't even have um, as much money as his boss, and he donated bread. You know what I'm saying? Just still fucked up for over a year. How? How? Because they like, don't care, bro. Yeah, but that's. Fuck There's me. some real bad shit. Well, there, there are black people in the legislation department of that whole thing how. that don't care. What I don't know, it, it, what is it going to take to stop these fucking fires in California? Because that shit's crazy to me, too. More That's prisoners. just natural selection, That's crazy. Bro. Yo, what? It's absolutely crazy. Yo, right? what happens when, like, you know how, like, we go overseas because motherfuckers I don't think there's, is killing their own people and shit? I don't think you can get the money to stop shit? that. Because it's just... It's, when that going to happen Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, that's what I say. Like, you know how like people go overseas or the motherfuckers go overseas because of dictatorship. They killing their own people and shit. Like, when that shit gonna happen to us? Because we out here. What you mean? That's just not been like that. Not bro. like that. But like, what the police? Doing? Some other country gonna be like, oh, you not going? Word, I'm gonna come in this bitch and fix that shit for you. No, nah, because we have we, we have yeah, a, we have a structure. Happen. We have yeah, a stru- we, we a might be fucked up, but we have more of a structure than that. other countries. We do. Like, our laws are in place for a reason, thank God, because if they weren't, we might all be dead. To be honest with you, we might have all killed each other by now. I don't know about all that, but I'm saying Nah, facts. Trust me. These laws are here for a fucking reason. I agree. Yeah, nah, hell yeah, nah. Trust me. for a reason, but like... I'm saying, We'd all be like, dead. We need to stop acting. There's like some dumb motherfuckers person. out there that get in a position of power, don't know what they're doing, and they would put that, they would pump that hate into the world. We'd all be dead. I promise you, we'd all be dead. 
they would convince everybody against each other, and we'd all be dead. We wouldn't even be in this room talking. So thank God for those laws. But I do I. Me personally, as a white man, wants to help the black community and the white community and everything and come together and just cut this shit. I'm I'm telling you, bro, we we want your help. We want your help and we support you and we we, we really advocate the fact that you want to help us. But there's certain avenues to where white people just need to stay out of it. And it's not because it's not because we feel uncomfortable about around y'all. It's because we just but you don't understand the white people need to help. Men everybody shit and everybody fix it. needs to help everybody. Everybody but, needs but to help. But when it comes to the black infrastructure, we can't segregate ourselves. No, when it comes to the black infrastructure, a a a, a, a Spanish man can't come fix uh, can't come fix our shit. You feel me? Because I can't go to Puerto Rico. But if that's and, if and, that and, Spanish and, man is in a position of power to help, then he needs if to. If he's in do a that. position of power to help and he wants to help us, yes. then yeah. But that doesn't fix our infrastructure. That and what I mean by infrastructure is the is the generational hatred that we you have need black each other. leaders to to speak for their people the, on the, behalf of their people exactly. The generational hatred that we have towards each other due to Jim Crow laws and all the conditioning that we've been enduring and all the shit that we do with protesting, like destroying mom and pop shops and stuff like that in our own neighborhoods, can't be fixed by an outside source. Because Correct. It's, because it's a mental health yeah, issue. Yeah, you got to start small and then build up from that. Exactly. There's it different starts, levels. It yeah. starts from self-hate. The shit that we do, why, why niggas go out and kill niggas for Jordans, is self-hate. Thank you. You feel me? Let me, let me give you... That's why me, my whole movement... Thank you. Let me tell you something, bro. And this is something that I need to fix in myself. When I see a white rich man pass by me in a Benz, I'm like, all right, that's a rich white man. I see that shit on the regular. When I see a rich black man ride past me in a Benz, I automatically think that nigga got to be doing something illegal. Or I fuck that nigga because he got more money than me. And when I say nigga, I don't mean nigga in general. I mean black person. You feel me? So you think... So you. That's because that's because of the of the of the conditioning that I had to endure in my own personal life. Because mm-hmm. when I'm, this is the stu- stupidest story I ever like have had to tell in my own in my own life. When I moved out the hood, that's when I started getting bullied by black people. When I moved out the hood and moved into the suburbs where it was just predominantly black, I started getting bullied by black people. Let's talk about what we were talking about the other day. I, that's that's where I'm at right now. I started getting shunned by black people because I spoke like a, a stereotypical white boy because my mom didn't let me go out the house as a dumbass. You feel me? And then when I got shunned by black people because I was too light skinned or because I spoke too elegantly or because I listened to corn or slipknot or whatever like that, white people embraced me. So I started doing stereotypical white shit. You feel me? Rocking certain fashion trends, listening to certain music. And I started to hate myself. At, for being black and other black people, stereotypically speaking. Because of how they treated you. Not until I was 19, 20 years old did I realize how proud I should be to be a black man. But since I'm only 23 now, there's still certain traits about that brainwashing and conditioning that I have to get out of. I.e. being jealous of other black men. You feel me? Or, or feeling like I have to stunt on certain niggas. Or feeling like... If I Ken- to- Kendrick spoke about this on To Pimp a Butterfly. Feel me? Or feeling like if I go to a certain neighborhood, I have to talk a certain way. You feel me? Or having or feeling obligated to no street niggas. Shit like that. You feel me? Because yep. I wanted to feel black enough. That's why I started selling drugs to a certain degree. Because I wanted to feel black enough. That's why I started rapping to a certain degree. Because I want... Hold on. <laughs> ah! This is what hip hop was started by, everybody. This is niggas and bell bottoms. Do I do I not be saying that? Oh! Niggas and bell bottoms with pistols started hip hop, my nigga. Hold on, I'm gonna get back to my point. You feel me? That's the Isley brothers. Back back to my point. They the, was they thorough though. The yeah, exactly. Isley brothers, they with the shits. But but the reason the reason I still have some of that conditional hate towards myself is because of the things that I had to endure. You feel me? And the reason those black kids bullied me is because generationally speaking, black people have to have to compete because of what uh, because of the attitude and mentality that white people instilled in us when it came to slavery. Right. Uh, let's uh, let's kinda... put, let's let's put the light skinned nigga in the house and and make him learn how to read. So when he go outside and let's put him in some formal colonial clothes. So when he go outside, the the the, the dark skinned niggas see that he can read and see that he being fed well. So we gonna make them hate each other. So now when they kill each other off, we don't have to feel responsible no more. The right. blood is off our hands. Oh, no. You feel me? Right. It ain't never happened for me like that. Nowadays, bro, everybody. when I see black men, bro, I have to I have to get myself out of that training. 
I, I, I look at some of my black friends and what they're doing, and I'm so proud of them now. You feel me? Because I, I, now I have that pride in myself. And that's why, that's why I tell you that there's certain avenues that white people just need to stay out of when it comes to fixing the black infrastructure. By all means, come out with a hip-hop album and talk about how fucked up Ronald Reagan is. By all means, come out with a hip-hop album that, that talks about the struggles that we face from an outside perspective. You right. feel me? We want you to do that. We don't want y'all to feel like you you feel threatened by Black Lives Matter. We don't want y'all to go out with picket signs and say all lives matter because that takes away from Yo, what we're trying to do. If you say Word. all lives matter for real, for real, you a hoe. You <laughs> and bitch. You Fact. completely missed the whole fucking point. Of or when you're trying to say that Colin Black Kaepernick is disrespectful matter. and shit. Like, I just wanted to say that. Like the, there's and this is this is exactly why, bro. Because every time we come out with the progressive black movement, a predominant amount of white people feel like they need to be a part of it, and when they can't be a part of it, because they, they don't make a different they don't understand it, <sighs> and they can't empathize. They can't emphasize. They can't empathize. Um, and They're put like themselves. Empath- they can't put themselves in your shoes, and they don't know how you feel to or why you want. To a certain degree, though, that's not their fault. You feel me? It's because not. because white privilege isn't isn't something that was created by the gen- by the millennials. It was something that was created by white elites. I promise right. you. I promise you, the white elites don't give a fuck about a poor white man. You feel me? At all. They nah. don't give a shit. That's why when Bobby Seale became the black, the head of the Black Panthers after Fred Hampton went to jail, he went to impoverished white neighborhoods and said, let's stop talking about race. Let's make it a focal point, but let's talk about economics. And that's what it really is about. I'm not going to say that. That's what it, it really is and about. It's a big part. It's, it's a, a big, big factor. Part. That's a wild. It's a big factor. A whole other conversation. Exactly. That's it is. That's, that's, that's a whole other conversation because there's rich black men that aren't helping they don't the black community. They don't niggas, bro. Right. There's ri- they're, they're there living it up with the rich white politicians. The minute politicians. niggas get out the hood, the minute niggas get out the hood, bro, they don't go back. Bro, it's it's really rich versus poor. Bro, that's really what the, the, the world isn't today. Even a gangbanger, bro. He's not even from the hood like that, and, he and he's helping his Con- community. He do more for Chicago than Kanye has ever done, bro. Yeah, it's just that elitist mindset is fucking That nigga trash. Kanye back in Chicago, though, and he doing what he yeah, got to nah, do. Yeah, nah, that's it's after too late. he got called out and all that it's crazy too late. shit. Still, bro. Shit. It's well, hey, late. if he can, if, no, if I mean, no, it, but if we, no, it's not too late because if, if we can, if, nuts, if we can plant the seed nuts. in his head now yeah, in 2018 for him to help, me. if we can plant that seed in his head now for him to go back and help, then fucking yeah, so be it. Because exactly. okay. he's helping. Me? Let's not be yeah. stubborn. Because yeah. you, true, true. he's going to then help the re- the results that you could possibly get for your people, right? Exactly, exactly. Better so, late than never. But while while I will say that I don't, if he delivers, he delivers. While I will say when I when I say I don't want like. White people in certain avenues. I don't even want ignorant niggas in my in my progression. You feel me? Because that that that's one of the mistakes that every black movement has made. They let ignorant niggas come into the movement because they felt sorry. They don't want it. They don't. They didn't want niggas to be left to, left behind. And tell why you don't want that. Because Talk about why you be- don't want that. Because when niggas do ignorant shit, they do it to a stereotypical level, and you. Nobody in here can disagree with me. When black people dumb shit, it's dumb black nigga shit. It's not dumb white shit. It's not dumb Spanish shit. It's dumb nigga shit. And dumb nigga shit is very, very, very volatile and and f- and, and and destructive. And then to they our get movement. that power revoked because exactly. they act like that. The and, then, the, and and it's not just because of dumb nigga shit. It's because of CNN. It's because of Fox News. Because the minute they turn they turn it into exactly. something that it's not. No, the, but that's crazy though. Because dumb nigga shit is a di- like dumb nigga shit. Can be anything, bro, and it's not always necessarily dumb nigga shit. It can be pride. It can be, you know what I'm I saying. Yeah. So like, it's not always dumb nigga shit because people make look ignorant. But if you sit down and you talk to them and you find out why they did an ignorant thing, they'll tell you that 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 there was a more, you feel me? It was more important thing behind it. It, it was just the way that they did it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I'm because saying they're and niggas. Fox News you feel be what I'm saying? Shit up. Yeah. Because because. Even though it might be a problem that we go and fuck up our own shit when somebody die, at least we're showing outrage. At least we're yeah. showing, you know, like, at least we're showing that we're mad. But it's not, it's a system that is a failed system now. Because, because when Fox News sees that shit, all they're going to do is label us as ignorant niggas that only know how to fuck up our own neighborhoods. It's not going to do anything for us conducively. Yeah, but but hmm. to a ground basis, it's going to make us feel proud that we actually had the, 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 the balls to go out and do some shit. But if, if, if a white cop go out and kill a black man, don't go into your own neighborhood and fuck up some shit. You feel me? Or if you do, you better do it like how they did in the 80s and label your fucking business as black owned business Word. and fuck up a Starbucks. 
Or go me? straight to the motherfucking police station. Facts. Facts. Go to that nigga. Die house. with everybody else. That's what we doing. Yeah, yeah I mean, 2018. Busting at him. No, I'm <laughs> 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 nah, nah. <laughs> to a certain degree, pacifist, pacifist, right, right, right. pacifist yeah, yeah. strategies don't really work no more Yo. because they killing us, bro. They not going yeah. out in the streets and saying we don't want niggers. Nah, they going out with guns and killing us. Killin us. When and I hear that word, it makes me feel some type of justify way. Justify like, self-defense and yeah, weird shit real. like that, and like justify. I don't want to hear that own, shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's fucked. Fear, and it's like, yo. Y'all That's are not, trained. Yeah. No, I ain't even gonna get I feel like shit. niggas. You know I feel like Call cops them. become cops is really pussy. You Facts, feel me? They, they all grow are. up their whole life being pussy. And they like, damn, fucking... I need to not be pussy, so Yo, let me become a cop. I know, motherfuckers. Boom, I get a nut in these I bet you 85 to 90 percent of cops that become cops were picked on. As that is, I know they're really trying to in high school bro, that weren't and then, shit. And that they're using weird ass motherfuckers. They ain't getting no pussy. They ain't getting no ass. Play from no. And that is Ian Brennan, my nigga. You're using that animosity in a big way. You get too much power as a a cop right mm-hmm. you have way too much power as a cop so what if you're gonna use that animosity to then go fuck up our communities do not do that please do not Parker, do that you're part of the problem Parker, uncle say for the, cor- the I'm, talking the power I'm, talking the I'm talking the crooked i'm talking the crooked and corrupt cops you feel me i'm not talking Facts. about the good cops out there that I'm are about protecting the our people shout and out, serving shout out all my good cops shout out my nigga Wu. shout Plenty out you feel me all my good cops i'm not i'm not going to hold you bro i got a lot of boys that are cops shout out cops i'm not going to hold you bro when i see a when i see a black man in a uniform i feel kind of salty bro cuz you could have picked any other fucking let me tell you nah, something. Nine no, times out of ten, people. No, you need that though. You need that. You need to even up the playing field. Let me say something. You need no, that. Black people, more black people do need to become cops because when black people become cops, that means that they're going to be able to get in there and fix these and problems protect. that we talk about Thank you. every okay. time Thank you. a white cop he's right. kills a black person, bro. You know I he's right. Through this shit, my nigga. My cousin recently got killed by the police, my nigga. That my shit. Alexis got killed that shit, in Pleasantville, bro. That shit fucked me up. Black cops should make you feel more nigga. comfortable, bro. You feel me? And it's crazy how the shit worked. Even like when we went there to the grave, when we went to where it happened at, cop, and where it happened at, and we we hung up the sign and everything. They had black cops there. You feel me? Like my thing is, bro. I just feel like more black cops Be- need to go in, need to become being a cop. Me? Doesn't make also, you bad. I feel like more. I feel cops like cops did. from. I feel like cops from in the neighborhood, people that grew up in the neighborhood should police the areas exactly. that they stay in because they know the people that stay on, that stay you out on the block. You should be a policeman of, know, you feel me? of you your community be. that you grew exactly. up in. Exactly, because I don't know about y'all, but I think there should be no reason that Galloway Township people, residents, should be policing Atlantic City because they Facts. do not know people Facts. from They're Atlantic people, City. Right. I don't have a like you feel me. I know people. I have friends that are, but, but then I can the argue the point. I can also argue the point that if they get in a position of power and they police that neighborhood, they're going to go and fuck up some people that fuck yeah, them up but, for all those years. That's, and that's that might I'm, not be good. Yeah, that might not be good. But at the same time, you know what I mean. Like, you they're going to then now they're out for revenge where, on the streets. You know what I mean? I'm saying though, but that's where, but that's where all that's them so tests come when you become when you go to the whole when you go to the uh, police academy. Those tests come, those mind tests. You feel me? Things yeah, that, bro. You feel me? Things like, that are things that you feel me. People need. You feel me? Things that are important. You can't just become a cop because you want to. You feel me? Yeah. And honestly, bro, I feel like if the world worked top, like that, nigga, I would be running the motherfucking country, nigga. If I could become something because I wanted to, oh yeah, nigga, I'm running hey, the yo, country, and, nigga. And on, motherfuckers on need to stop trying to get into these important positions strictly off of some money shit. Like, oh, they got benefits. They got da 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 da. Like, you are responsible for protecting people's lives Word. that shouldn't be your that shouldn't be your fucking motivation right you shouldn't do now be honest, like, i understand why it's like, a motivation because if you Word. struggled or you haven't I had know money so many Word. people that are like yo i'll be a cop bro they got state benefits you shouldn't go benefits, into the military or become a cop Word. just solely off of the fucking what? financial yo, benefits let Fuck let that get me started man. bro don't how do many that. people you Please think in the military right now is racist as fuck let me tell you about the military oh, hold shit. up yeah there's racist people in the military and they can't do shit the military itself is a fucking sham my nigga like that shit is crazy they're literally sending you off to die 
Like for no reason Cause if you think about The only Like bro I watched a video And literally Not in all cases Not, not in, in all cases, cases Cause some of them get jobs And they work of, on yeah, the bases yeah, yeah, And shit yeah, like yeah. that, that but shit, That shit too But I'm saying like Nine times out of ten When you're going out to fight bro You're going out to fight For a reason that That's not even it's true It's a big deal You know it's what I'm saying It's a big deal the, whoever, Whoever's running the fucking military Is going to stunt to you About why you're going oh, To yeah, this yeah. said location To fight Right You feel me You think you're going there Because that You feel me That that whole area is in shambles When, when in reality that area sitting on some gold, or that area sitting on some oil, and that area sitting on something that we want. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? It's just crazy how all of that shit could very well be true. All of that shit, no, you feel me? It's all there's always a motive. Circle, there's always nigga. a motive towards something. Exactly. So yeah, it's yeah. always and if it and yep. if yo and it's crazy if there is no motive, they'll create one, bro. Yo, it's and wild. I'm and I'm kind of I'm kind of tired. Think Saddam Hussein was? That's why, yo. Did you guys exactly. ever watch the show? Exactly. There's a there's a Netflix series called Black Mirror. Have you guys watched it? I heard oh, of man. it. That it's shit trash, right man. there speaks some fucking <laughs> volumes, bro. Because Cinematog- no, the from, fuck it's not. Cinematography, some from from cinematography from, level, like it's, fuck it's all garbage. that. Fuck all that. The 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 the, the simple fact that the, the stories themselves, and that it's actually. Have you watched them all? You haven't watched them all. I already know. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I know this man better than he better than he thinks I do. From his mindset to sit here and say it's not a good show, that means he hasn't watched it. Because hey, th- he would literally talk about it all day if he watched it. Go y'all watch all the episodes. Because the shit we're talking about right now, that's in the Twilight, show. Nigga? Twilight Zone, bro. Oh, Twilight Zone's that's hard. That's shit. That's the real yeah. shit right there, bro. All right, we got to wrap it up, you guys. Yeah, yeah, wrap yeah, it up, crazy. wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. So um, get your final statements in, and then that's it. Y'all want plugging? Y'all want plugging your Instagrams? Yeah, you already know, yo. Check me out at that fat nigga. You feel me? You could check me out on there. You could look me up uh, on Google. You feel me? Grizz Darko, Grizzy with your bitches, whatever. You feel me? I got that new song out, Fanta. I like pouring lean in my Fanta. Go check that out. It's in the link of my bio at that fat nigga. And that's that's a Darko with a D V R K O. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. One word, Grizz Darko. You feel yeah, me? let them know. If I think you cool, I might sell you a beat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Damn, and, he said he might. And it's your boy. J Styles on Instagram. That's who you hit for beats. J S T Y L three Z. You feel me? And yo, thank y'all for motherfucking. Yeah, I mean, this always, bro. We appreciate you guys always, coming bro. through. This Finish show is day. the shit. Yeah. You dig? Sad man, I know you want to plug your Instagram, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get the plug in. You feel me? Uh, Trap Noxious next month. You feel me? This is Sad Man shit. You feel me? Uh, Instagram, the main triple six. You feel me? T H E M A N E six six six. Your bitch. Oh, oh wait, 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 and respect women. You dig? <laughs> Spanish oh. girls get pregnant easily. <laughs> oh shit! You can find me on Instagram uh, at hendo six oh nine underscore, and you should also follow our uh, our our radio shows Instagram the underscore connection underscore right radio Boom. show radio show. All right. The underscore connection underscore radio show. You, you can um. This is Shu. You can find me at Shu eight five six. Um, I'm not gonna give my uh my gov because we don't do that shit up here. And um, give your bitch the shoe after he done with your bitch. You did. <laughs> um bars. So um, listen. We want to let everybody know. Everybody that tuned in. We thank you guys. Please keep tuning in. The episodes are just gonna get better and better. We keep talking about crazy shit up here. Um. Have, we time. got a lot of we got a lineup of uh, crazy guests coming up here talking about you know mental health issues and their stories. Um, we got you know for the next couple months we're pretty backed up. Um, we got a lot of you know dope local artists that are going to be coming up. Tons of shit. Oh, um, and if y'all ever have any type of uh, type of questions or topics y'all want us to talk about, hit us up on Instagram. Hit Nick on his Snapchat because that's where he most active. Because he got the bitches, and I don't have bitches. Stop it. He a liar. All the bitches. I a couple. <laughs> don't 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 listen to this, man. But nah, for real. If y'all y'all have any topics y'all want us to talk about, anything that's personal to y'all, or if anybody wants to come on the show, contact us on Instagram or Facebook, and. Facts, yeah. this shit is lit. Facts, facts. And I think that's it, yo. Um, facts. And um, if anybody, me. I just want to say one more thing. If anybody ever has, like, crazy shit going on, please reach out to us. I don't give a fuck what time of night it is. Three, four, five in the morning, whatever. In the, like, you got some shit on your mind. You, you, you know, you feel suicidal, anything. Like, facts. I'm really here for you. Hendo's really here for you. That's Amen. what we do. That's why we started Grizzly the show. Really we want you to be all right. We all go through shit. So please feel free to reach out. 
and please get connected because we the plug. That's it. We hey, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ladies, if you want to shake some ass in the video, holla at me at that fat nigga underscore. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Black Lives yeah. Matter. We out. Burn some. We out.